What's going on guys, this is Jorge Yao back with another video. Now I haven't uploaded a video in about a week or so because uh, I was actually at TwitchCon last week, which was a lot of fun. I uh, got to meet a lot of cool streamers, uh, a lot of class streamers out there, Teemo, uh, Monster D Phase, Pope Dave, um, Tiny X Destiny, a bunch of others. Uh, I was hanging out with BJ Can Dive. We had a, a Space A booth at TwitchCon. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We got a, got to introduce to got in, introduced to excuse me to a lot of um, other companies and a lot of showcases. So it was pretty cool. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into this video because it's been a while. Um, I'm on my Yao Squad account. So I've been playing while I'm in, while I was in San Francisco. I'm currently in Philadelphia right now, home uh, for about this week, and then I'll be back in London uh, start of next week. So I'll probably be back into my regular schedule. Uh, I just made Twitch partner, so I will start streaming more regularly on Twitch, uh, as well as Camcord, um, starting, uh, I guess, on Monday when I get back into London. So, uh, right now I think I'm just gonna chill for the week, um, and maybe do some videos here and there. So let's go ahead and move some, uh, I'm not really a huge fan of these bushes and stuff like that. They keep popping up. I do like the evergreens, though. I like keeping the evergreens, that's, I don't know, I guess that's kind of my trademark. I know a lot of people like um, the bushes, but I like the evergreen trees, I, I try to keep those around, and only on the sides too, and obviously I, I like the gem boxes, I want to keep it, because it looks pretty cool, but other than that, uh, so let's talk Let's talk about the gameplay, so anyway, um, uh, as you guys know, I already hit legends on this account, I'm trying to push pretty hard, my record on this account is 50-15, 50, 50, so 5,015 cups, uh, I'm trying to get there, but it's been pretty difficult, I'm on 2 day shield right now, uh, as you can see, so the tournament's ending in, I think, five days it is? Let's see, let's take a look. Uh, five days and six hours. So I'm currently clouding on Jorge Yao right now, which is why I shared a replay from my Jorge Yao account, so that I can actually uh, talk about it. So uh, I've been doing a lot of Lava Loonian on my Yao Squad account, which is very, very effective. But I've also been pretty effective on my, Yao, um, on my main account, Jorge Yao. So let's go ahead and look at a two-star that I did uh, probably about an hour ago. Here's a pretty uh, pretty standardized square base with the uh, outer boxes. And this base actually tripped me up a lot of times in the past. Because as you can see, I'll pause it real quick. In the beginning of the fight, you'll see there's four air defenses, right? And But all four air defenses are relatively close to the inner core. So that makes it really difficult for me to, uh, to break into that inner core. And the reason being is I can take out one air defense with spells, but with with the other air defense, it's actually pretty difficult to get in there with the Lava Hound and four loons that I have. So I'm really uh, hoping to get those out, and or at least one air defense out. Um, I think I've lost this base a couple times before in the past, but luckily nowadays with the new spell changes um, and the addition of the sp free spell that I can use with my spell composition, I can actually uh, two-star this base pretty regularly. So uh, that's why I really wanted to showcase this attack. So let's go ahead and go back to the attack. So I take out that top right air defense. Now the reason why I take out that air defense rather than this one right here is because See that single inferno, uh, single target inferno, and then clan castle. I really want to spread my dragons from about nine o'clock to about twelve o'clock. And the reason being is I want to take out that clan castle. Now I want to take out that clan castle. The reason being is because with the new update that just came out, lava hounds do not target air anymore. So. Uh, basically with air attacks, you usually try to get the 2 star with your heroes, so that's when the, the clan castle will pop out. So, that makes it a lot easier for drag attackers because when lavas came out before, it used to stall my drags, at least 3 drags, for about 30 seconds. And for 30 seconds, basically all the other defenses are attacking my drags and they pretty much get gunned down. So, in this case, the best case scenario is really just to take that out. And before I used to not really attack from Clan Castle side because usually the, it uh, is accompanied by the single target Inferno. But I'm not afraid of that single target anymore because of the addition of the free spell. Now the reason why I have the addition of the free spell is because I'm using one earthquake and two lightnings to take out one air defense rather than using uh, three lightning spells. So that's the advantage there. Now this, the disadvantage to that is I have to replace the poison spell with the earthquake spell. Now. 
you know, that comes into play way more when you're trying to go for two stars, or, yeah, excuse me, yeah, two stars on the Town Hall because uh, they really work wonders on skeleton traps. However, um, it's not a real necessity. I'd rather have the extra free spell, and you'll see why in a second. So here we go. Let's go for the attack. So I go in with my Lava Hound, I rage them up, and I have my balloons going in. They take out that cannon, and then they go towards the air defense. There you go. Now, that thing didn't really quite make it to the air defense, which I was kind of worried about. So I always fan a few dragons there behind it. And usually, you know, the Lava Pups will stall it a little bit so that at least one dragon can get there. So as you can see, I saved three dragons right there. So I fanned from... Uh, from 9 o'clock all the way to 12 o'clock and a little bit to like around 2 o'clock-ish. And the reason I, why is I want to try to take out one side of the base so that that town hall has an easy shot for the uh, king and the queen later on. So I saved three dragons right there. And the reason is I want those dragons to group up in one area so that when I pop my last rage and free spell, it gets the most amount of coverage on the most dragons, and then I can use my free spell effectively. So there you go. So let's take a look at this right now. So I pop those three, and you see all those dragons grouping up. And you see that single target Inferno right now doing work on my dragons. Now, I'm not... Uh, I'm patient with that free spell. I don't use it right away. I want to make sure that my drags take out the queen and uh, take out the clan castle before like I basically use the free spell. Um, I can uh, sacrifice one dragon basically while... Uh, the Inferno Tower is taking that out, but then, but once it gets to like the second tar the second dragon, once it starts targeting the second dragon, that's when you're kind of like, okay, I kind of need to use that free spell then. So there you go, I already got the 50% with dragons and no heroes. And as you can see, I drop both of my heroes at the top. I have a pretty much clean shot straight to the Town Hall. There's really nothing that's blocking me. Um, the only thing I was worried about was maybe this uh, barracks, but because I dropped it in this area right here, I knew they were just going to go straight to the core. Now, they're not going to attack directly at the town hall. They're probably going to go for the elixir. I, I forget exactly what they attack, but I'm pretty sure they get to go for the expo and the storage first. But uh, as you can see, the single target Inferno is the worst thing for a king. Um, so I'm not too worried. I dropped some, basically all the rest of my troops. I popped my king's ability to keep the skeleton traps occupied. And uh, basically the queen, see, she's not even hitting the town hall yet. She's hitting the actual uh, elixir storage. And then you have to see the skeleton tracks coming in. But luckily there's nothing in the area to really do damage to her. So I pop her ability. And there she goes. And GG. Rip. There goes the town hall. So that was a plus eight cups on Jorge Yao, uh, which is actually a pretty, pretty significant amount. That was actually considered a pretty big whale for me. Uh, and to be able to two star it was excellent on my part, at least. Um, so there you go, uh, an, a raid that I'm pretty proud of because usually this base trips me up a little bit with the uh, air defense decentralized in the core. Um, hope you guys learned something on this one and let's move on to the next attack. So now I'm on my Jorge Yao account, and uh, the reason is I finished my session and went defense. So uh, let me go ahead and show you some attacks on that. So I no longer have to share the attack and show you guys on Yao Squad. I can show you directly from Jorge Yao, my main account. I'm actually at my personal best at 49.17. So as you guys can see, 49.17 is my personal best. I went defense and actually won at 46% and gain seven cups so that was actually a pretty good win for me uh i'll show you guys that defense in my uh defensive wins and losses series so i'll do a separate video on that um as you can see i haven't been doing too great on defense negative 28 negative 16 uh generally one star but the negative 28s and negative 38s they hurt a lot so i went through a good string of um of some defenses, but again, negative 34, negative 21, negative 17. The worst is when you win a defense and you get paid zero cups. Now, I don't think that's fair, personally speaking, because, I mean, you get rewarded zero cups for winning. I mean, how does that make any sense? But anyway, let's let's not dwell on that. But again, negative 22, you know, a couple wins here and there. This was my best string in a long time. Four wins in a row. Uh, pretty happy about that. But again, uh, a, a plus zero again, so that kind of sucks. Like for a guy who had 4,015 trophies, like, come on, give me a break. Like 4,000 trophies finding me, that's insane. 
But anyway, let's go ahead and go through some more attacks. So I showed you the um, the attack down here that I made that was two star on CM Drunk. Uh, so that was a two star, and let me show you another two star attack right here on with Drags. So Drags have been super good to me lately. This again, I think I showed you this one. I may have not met. Maybe I have. I think I used the same attack strategy. I believe this is the same one, but. Uh, so let me force fast forward this. I think this is the same exact base actually because, um, let me think. I think the, the, the one before this, I took out this air defense here and I used a lava loon for this air defense. So it's basically the same thing. I'm going to fast forward this pretty quickly. But uh, same strategy as the attack before this. Same base actually, pretty much the same. I think it's the same clan too, Aristocrats. I have to have to check that. No, it's, no, it's not the same clan actually. Um, so there you go, like you can see it's pretty quick, um, two star heroes go in and they come in pretty clutch. So I get the one star with just, uh, with just dragons, which is pretty much ideal. That means I can go in with the two star safely with heroes. Uh, so I may or may not have shown you that, uh, if I did, uh, it's okay, because I'm recording this in two different sections, so, um, let's go ahead and show you another two star. So this guy is on Swicer Shark, and he's at 4599. So this base is actually commonly used, and it actually wins quite a lot. Uh, so I took out this air defense here. Um, now again, I explained it in uh, earlier in this video in my Dragon Tech why I take out this one as opposed to the other three. Now I see that there's a, a Signal Target Inferno right there. Uh, near the clan castle, which always happens that way, a multi-target there. So my goal is basically to take out that single target inferno, or at least freeze it long enough so that I can take that out, and the clan castle. Now if I have both of those taken out, I have a pretty good shot at getting a 2 star, if my other dragons are spread well enough so that I can um, get the 50% without having to drop my hero again. Because as you can see, this town hall is actually 4 spaces deep in the center core, which means my king and my queen, especially my queen, has to break through this inner layer of wall before it can touch that town hall. So that's a smart thing on this guy to actually build this uh, base that way. Very commonly used base. Now the reason why I take out this air defense as opposed to this one is because when I drop my Lava Hound and my three loons, uh, if they get into range of this Inferno Tower, I'd rather the Inferno Tower target the Lava Hound and the loons uh, after they destroy the air defense. So I basically just, uh, because I don't want to waste any drags, right? The drags are the main damage dealer. So um, that's my reasoning behind taking out this air defense rather than this one. Um, because just simply because it's, this one is closer to the single target Inferno. So let's go ahead and play this. Um, there you go. Put that out. Spread my dragons pretty wide actually. And then right there I drop my uh, hound and my four loons and I drop two dragons behind it. I rage it up really quickly. And you'll see I'll drop a dragon there. And, I, and you'll see, you'll notice I'll save three dragons. And I usually, that's kind of my trademark. I save like three dragons. Uh, and as you can see, they're a perfect example. Um, now, if those were, if that was a dragon getting targeted, then you know you you basically be wasting a lot of dragons because dragons are really slow. So you really want the dragons to be uh, untouched or at least have minimal damage taken before they get close to the Inferno Tower because you still have all these storages to take out. So basically, if um, the single target Inferno is targeting your dragons at this point. Uh, you're gonna do a very low percentage damage uh, overall so that's my reasoning behind it so there we go let's keep it going so there you go it's still hitting another loon hitting some lava pups and you see the single target in front is not really targeting anything now it, start, it started targeting that one dragon which is why I dropped my other three dragons as backup now I explained earlier in an earlier attack uh, that I'll lose one dragon that's fine and then I drop the free spell right onto the Expo, the Tesla, and the Single Target Inferno, hoping that I can take out basically the entire group. Now you see it took them out, now I can work on the Clan Castle without any problem because there's a multi-target right there. So that, that's basically a perfectly executed strategy right there on the drags. Um, again, that's my strategy behind it. Now some people use a combination of wall breakers and everything and so on and so forth. Um, they either tease out the Clan Castle. My, my strategy is just a straight shot to the Clan Castle, take the Clan Castle out, take that single target for Inferno out, and uh, go for the 2 star after that. Now, you'll see now here um, a strategy. Now, this is a pro tip. Some of you might know this. Some of you might not. If I drop the king and the queen at the same time right here, 
the queen will most likely wander and go right here take out the tesla take out the expo and then keep going for you know probably the mortar and the dark elixir storage the reason why is because of the ai of the queen now because the king is targeting i need to wait for the queen the king basically to break through that core uh, now once the king breaks through that core then i can drop my queen and she'll she'll go to the core but not until the king breaks through that wall do I drop that queen. So I drop that queen right now. There you go. You see her go? And she goes straight to the core. Now, if the king didn't break through those two layers of walls, the queen would not have done that and I would not have two-starred. So this is just a pro tip for bases that have town halls four spaces in. She can't snipe from the outside, so the, the goal of this base is for her to wander. Um, and that's why some people they'll sacrifice a drag or two so instead of using 11 drags they'll use 10 drags and they'll bring in a mixture of extra balloons or wall breakers to, to save you basically the time and trouble of breaking through those walls for me I'd rather have the extra drag but you know it comes in clutch sometimes so it's just personal preference really so that's one another attack and then uh, let's go ahead and see so that was plus five which was pretty big and this was my last attack before defense so only plus two, so it was a three copper. Again, another base that's similar, but the, the difference between this base is you have, you see these walls right here, right around this uh, town hall. Now I don't quite get it. Like I don't understand why he needs that there. I guess it prevents like ground troops from getting in, but usually like it's either your queen, your ranged troops, like queen, wizards, or what whatnot, uh, taking down the, the town hall. So. I don't really understand the theory behind that. Maybe he's just trying to use those extra walls there, but I can see, you know, better spots where he could use those walls. But again, let's go ahead and uh, critique this attack. So he has two air defenses at the top left and then two air defenses at the top right. So it's pretty easy, you know. I just attack from one side basically, and you know which side I'm gonna get attacked from, which is Clan Castle and Inferno Tower. Same exact strategy pretty much verbatim. Now in this one, it kind of messed up a little bit. I dropped my drag a little bit too soon, so I wasted a drag right there. What I wanted was, what's happening right now is that Inferno Tower to hit the Lava Pups and everything else, uh, and then, you know, not have to lose a drag, which is why I send in my drag actually kind of early, and then I drop my, uh, my Rage, and then you'll see I drop my Freeze. Now, again, you know, you lose one drag here and there, that's fine, but then you have to over, you have to basically compensate for that. So basically my job right now is to hope that I, so I took down the clan castle, and now I'm hoping to take out that Inferno Tower. I lose another drag, but that's okay. Um, that drag right there still raged up, he t takes down the single target Inferno, so he's all good. And my drags are pretty much doing work. That one expo basically has one hit left, and it's pretty much GG on that expo. Um, same with that Tesla. And I have one dragon doing work. He's got 49%. I don't think he gets the 50% just with the drag. I'm not positive. Uh, but at this point, I'm pretty sure that I'm getting the one star. Yeah, I do get the one star. So I'm just waiting for that. And I know I'm going to get the one star from that. So I wait for the king. Um, again, same exact strategy. So I'm waiting for the king to break through the walls, right? And so because the queen, again, is going to wander. If I drop the queen with the king, the queen is going to hit that Tesla, hit that uh, air sweeper, and then keep going along this path right here with all these pumps and everything, and instead of going to the core. Now, once the king breaks through this wall right here, that's when I know that the queen is going to target the core because the core is the closest buildings to where the drop point is. But again, with the new AI, you need to you need to realize this and know that bases are designed to funnel. See, I dropped the queen right when that wall breaks because I only had 20 seconds left. And I'm like, okay, I need the queen to go into the core. Boom, she's in the core right away. And this is pretty much GG rip, two star. Um, easy, easy two star. Um, again, but that's the one thing that you guys have to realize in terms of uh, if you're doing drag raids or even lava union. Uh, that basically you need to do the grunt work and have the king break through those walls whether it's wall breakers or using the king or whatever break through those walls so that the queen does not funnel because so many times i see queens funneling and it's all because the uh, the attacker is just impatient he's not willing to wait for the right time to drop the queen and then you'll see the queen one so you just need to adapt to the uh, the ai and you'll benefit from it but that does it for this episode, uh, so I went through three drag raids, uh, all two stars, so I'm doing pretty good with uh, with drags right now, well actually three three drag raids, sorry, uh, that are, or four, sorry, oh, it's been a long day, four drag raids that are all two stars, so um, again, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos, and I will showcase this uh, one 
uh, oh, sorry, there's 46% plus 7 uh, defensive win in my defensive wins and losses series. So stay tuned for that, guys. Again, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And this is Jorge Yao, out. Peace out.